when there was a flood in this country in 2012, everybody panicked. President Jonathan didn't panic. People said there was going to be food crisis. I remember I went to him. I had my detailed analysis done as president. People are telling you that we're going to have food crisis. No, you didn't choose the shock, but we choose our response. The president had that day on his desk quite a lot of people that I've sent him letters asking for waivers to bring in food, to flood the country with food. The president didn't listen to them. He called his minister of agriculture. That's a great leader. And he said, can we survive? Do you think we're going to survive? Mr. President, I said, we will survive if you help us to do dry season rice. I gave him the plan. He took his pen. He used his green pen. And he canceled every single one of those things on his desk, asking for waivers. He said, I can't, as Anomali calls me, go get a job done. Today, he launched dry season farming program, the first president in the history of this country to launch a program for national dry season farming so we can produce food during the main season, food during the dry season. All across the north of this country we started. And that is why we've been able to boost so much food production. Farmers, young people that used to leave the north to come and work in Lagos or Abuja as May guards or night guards and stuff like that, they stopped. We're creating lots of jobs. Agriculture sector alone, in terms of farm jobs, have been able to do 3.2 million farm jobs. You go ask people, not on the internet, not on Facebook. You go ask them in Jigawa. You go ask them in Castina. Ask them in Sokoto. Ask them in Kano. Ask them in Bauchem. Ask them in Gombe. They will tell you that there is no other person that has loved farmers more, supported farmers more, encouraged them more, and been there for them all the time. It truly is the farmer's president. And he truly is the farmer's president because he loves farmers. He supports farmers. And I believe that the farmers are going to reward him back because the farmers don't want to be naked again. They want the clothing on their body and they are not going to lose that to just empty promises from others. Good luck, Ebele Jonathan is the farmer's president. And the farmers are for good luck, Ebele Jonathan.